It's getting out of the eye protection. So this cable lock is a kryptonite. Cryptoflex. Alright, and basically it's just another lock that I'll um, put through my trailer or something when I lock up to go in a, a shop or whatever. Master lock. Um, what happened was the key got stuck in there for some bizarre reason. I really don't know what happened. Um, I think it actually had, um, it was slightly like bent. I must have stepped on it or something. I had a spare, but that, um, what's going on with that? That didn't work either. I don't know what was wrong with it. Maybe just one of the levers inside the lock went adrift or something, but we saved it with the disc grinder. But it always goes to show, man, use a U-lock or something more decent than a cable lock to lock your whole bike up. Or just keep it in your... Don't let it out of sight, you know? Uh, takes a gamble with that, don't you? But just so easy to cut open locks, especially with a battery disc cut. You can go anywhere with those. Anyway, job done. Right, how shocking, right? I've had rice for three nights in a row. Hang on a minute. Wrapped up. Been out tinkering with the bike. Looking pretty sharp though, I think. Pretty sharp. Train like a motherfucker. Yeah, three nights in a row with the rice, uh, frozen veggies and rice. Now the condiment, you can do without. If you do good rice, if you get good rice, you get good quality rice and you know how to cook rice, okay? Like a motherfucker. Okay. I see a lot of people with the old rice recipes and I did this myself when I first started Got a bit of a double chin. Bit of a double chin there, look. I'm so fat. What? It's cooking the rice too much, overcooking it, alright? And it sticks together like rice pudding. Because that's basically what you've got to do. If you want to make rice pudding, you cook the rice like crazy. Just cook it and cook it and cook it till it goes sticks together like sludge, alright? Drain it off a bit. You know, rice pudding, basically. That's all it is. You can get, like, the fatter stuff. I think it's, like, the stuff you'd use for, like, uh... Uh, paella or something, whatever, anyway, but, you know, strawberry jam, rice pudding, easy. So, good rice tastes good on its own. You need fuck all else with it, alright? Fuck all else with it, alright? No soy sauce, no chilli sauce, nothing. You can eat it on its own. It tastes absolutely epic, alright? And for me, that's Tilda at the moment. But, there's a shop up in uh, Bristol, Bristol City, I spotted a few times now. They, I've actually gone in and looked. I didn't do any photos or video. Um, but I will when I go up there next and I might purchase some rice, big bags of rice, Drew Rice style Um I'm talking like 10 and 20 kilogram plus bags of rice. Like a motherfucker. Uh, really uh, good quality shit. Fuck all else with it, alright? Fuck all else with it, alright? It looks good. It probably is the same as Tilda. Uh, it might be Tilda, I don't know. But I'm going to try some. So yeah, three nights on the trot, rice. I'm uh, gonna stick some veggies with it, and for me, for me, for rice, how I do, it. I haven't got a rice cooker. Okay, so what I do, um, sometimes I drain the rice or like wash it because rice can be they, you know, they they call it like dirty, but it's more kind of just where it's being produced. I guess you know, you get like the dust, just the shit on it. All right, I don't always worry too much. I just basically put it in the bowl, however much you want. All right, uh, rice for days. Uh, boil some water up, put the water in, then you're gonna like stir it for a two three minutes because it can stick together and it can go like it can just set like a brick in the bottom of the saucepan so you boil it up all right keep your eye on it you wait kind of five minutes you test it a bit if it's kind of medium you know like hard to soft turn the heat down let it simmer for like another four or five minutes then drain the water uh put the lid on the saucepan and then just let it kind of cook itself to perfection for another Five, six, seven, eight, nine minutes, whatever, just let it sit there so like it's not going to get cold or anything, alright? And it just kind of like be the most perfect, fluffy, consistent, like rice you ever tasted. And just, motherfucker. just like fork it up, eat it, done, man. So there you go. That's how I do my rice every time. I, I have no issues with that. Um, yeah, three nights on the go, rice. Oh, lovely. And it's not even, it's like savory. Like you can like see many dishes with rice, man. So many dishes rice straight from the fridge with strawberry jam on it try it that's today's vlog rice is good rice is not bad might do some brown rice soon mix it up a bit we'll see how we go oh someone mentioned black rice the other day who was it my mate frederick if you're watching this frederick freddy 
mentioned black rice and I have seen it um, it's interesting isn't it I might actually uh, find out a bit more about it um, and give it a go yeah interesting black rice man so thanks for watching hope this inspires you to eat some rice tonight maybe maybe it inspires you just to eat some rice on its own some rice and veggies or something whatever you doing out there wherever you are whoever you are if you're watching this video try some rice man try some rice see you later Right, I'm a little bit behind, so this is going to be yesterday and today. So yesterday's was rice, tonight is rice. There's some veggie patties with some ketchup in some nice rolls. And soy sauce, good soy sauce. Do you know why? Check it out. If we can focus. Maybe not. Come on, iPod. Right, I'll read it out. Soybeans, wheat, salt. That's all it is. It's really nice, it smells quality, all right? Soy sauce, check it out, don't buy the cheap shit. It adds so much unnecessary ingredients to soy sauce, all right? Naturally brewed, like your finest whiskey, which I don't drink anymore. So you go, check in, just plain rice, veggie patties. I just wanna say, whilst I'm eating my rice, that is the best soy sauce I've ever tasted. Really nice tasting, man. Get yourself on.